So what are we hearing day to day as search professionals? The sky is falling. Everybody's going to use chat search. And then none of us are going to get any traffic anymore. Jump off the bridge. It's like, well, slow down. Um, so I decided to figure out where's their data I might be able to get access to that can give me a hypothesis or validate a hypothesis. So I'm going to show you how I went from learning or knowing zero Python, and I still know zero Python, to using the notable plugin plus ChatGPT4 to help me start to answer this question for myself and for my clients so I can better understand how disruptive is this. So first, let's start with the hypothesis. I believe that Wikipedia pages um, could be one of the types of pages that gets disrupted because maybe people start to do more and more um, searches for things they're looking for that they may not end up on Wikipedia. And because Wikipedia's traffic is freely available on the internet, I wanna show you how to go about extracting it um, and not having to learn any Python to do it. So let's rock and roll. I hear Wikipedia's traffic is available And here we go. Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. It tells me a little bit more about it. Ooh, it's even giving me the, uh, oh my gosh, it's giving me the code already. Isn't that great? But then it's saying, I'm going to need a Google Cloud account. Wah, 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 and BigQuery. A lot of us marketers, that's not our, that's not totally our bag yet. So let's not give up. And this is where Notable comes in. So I'm going to say, I have a Wikipedia page in mind. Would you be able to use Notable? And now it's using the Notable plugin. Learn some more stuff. You can always open this box and see what it's doing. It's producing code that I don't know how to read. <laughs> and here we go. Great, I've created a new project. Would you provide it with the name of the Wikipedia page? All I got is the link. I don't feel like, like uh, doing anything more than that. Because remember, in our world, most of us are gonna have access to links for Wikipedia, but not the names of the pages. So we're gonna go ahead and come back here. Listen in. Real quick, let me tell it. I have the URL in the universe. Perfect, I figured it out. Setting up the BigQuery client. Ugh, that's going to be a problem. Ooh, and now it's telling me all this stuff in JSON. And if you're like a normal marketer, you're like, wait a second, like, that's a little bit above my pay grade. Let me go get the developers, but then they're going to be busy and you're not going to get access to them. So let me show you how to keep going. So I'm going to say, if I cannot do this in Google Cloud, is there another way? Boom, there's another way to do it. Great, now I don't need to do all that stuff. Now it's giving me an API, and that is where you uh, don't need to be scared, my friends. We're about to, we're about to get into this all this code, we don't really need to know that much about it. And last time it gave me a slightly different answer. Oh, so it wrote the code, but it says, do you want me to proceed with this approach? Yes, please do that for me. So this is what I love about Notable. Um, instead of it saying error, it goes, there's a reason why this could happen. I'm going to try something else. All right, so here's where I'm going to cheat because this thing did error out for me in my original request. But when I did this yesterday, it had the same set of issues, but it eventually figured out that I can use an email address as my user agent string. So this is going to be an important reason why even if something doesn't work and it errors out, you might want to have it try three or four different ways before you completely give up on it. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to come down here and say, yesterday, you told me this was possible. Is it still? And you can see that by running this yesterday, I was able to give it something that's like, yep, 
Now I can go ahead and do it. And now let's create the plot to visualize the page views for a Wikipedia page. And now I've got my graphic. And of course, it's Christmas tree. So we're getting a little bit of a big spike there, uh, which might dull out any drops that might be happening. Different page for you can you analyze. Let's use the CRM page. And boom. So now imagine a world where you have all these different Wikipedia pages. So for me, this is interesting. Um, first thing I think of is imagine if you also took the rankings of Wikipedia and you could see how much its traffic moved when it moved one position. That's one thing that you SEOs out there um, could do. Imagine if you're in paid. Hey, when Wikipedia drops out of the first result, did I start getting more conversions at that time? Might I want to change my bid strategy? So imagine tracking stuff like this. 